Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you a flexibility where you can change the measures as per your needs. This is part of my dynamic behavior series of the various charts that I will be explaining and looking at it to find some uh, to give the flexibility in the hand of a business user so that we don't receive a lot of ad hoc queries and the standard reports can be produced across everywhere. Okay, so what I what I meant by this is right now if you see what we have is the sum of sales over here. So sum of sales is basically sum of sales is basically uh, a is a fixed measure over here. But what if your user wants that not just sales? We want to look at the profit or the quantity or the discount, all of that, right? So how I can go ahead and do that? So for that, what you can do is come over here in modeling. In the new parameter, you can choose the fields. And before I go ahead and show this, just a quick information. If you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this Power BI, this Power BI Google Sheet with for which the link is present in the description. And that's where I keep all of my Power BI videos so that you can come in like all of these different people are using the sheet right now. Uh, search any of the tutorial that you need as you can see right now I am 247 uh, so all these tutorials dashboards and all of that is present over here and the link for the YouTube is present over here that way very easily you can search any of the video and come over here and then you have the exercise related videos which I post that also is present with the title video link and the actual exercise link of that uh, workout Wednesday day uh, website okay so that is something which is here and now what we can do is uh, we can simply go in into our power bi and the data set link is also present in the description so make sure you use that so we will going to come over here in the new parameter fields and we will say um, measure d measure right because i have a dynamic measure already created for my experiment so i will call it d measure as you can see this is something which i previously created when i'm i was experimenting with it so in the superstore uh, what fields i need as a measure i need discount okay um i need profit quantity and i need sales okay and with that depends on how many different measures that you have you can utilize it so by default it will come it as a slicer over here which i can bring it like this and then in this chart, what we can do is we can remove this and we can come over here and uh, we have this D measure present here and we bring the D measure over here. Okay. So right now nothing is selected. So let's go ahead and select discount. So right now nothing is coming. And even if you select the profit, nothing is coming. Well, there is a reason behind this and that this is why it is not very straightforward. So thing is you have this dynamic measure that you have created. One of the option is uh, over here when I was exploring is this uh, show selected field. Well, what it does is it just produce the count of overall measures. So whatever you select, right, it will not produce the expected behavior. And you have a couple of options like when you say uh, not this one, but over here. The count of measure is there, count distinct is there, show value as is percent of grand total. So nothing is there. So what do you need to do is uh, to resolve this type of a behavior is basically make sure that an aggregation is happening. So why, what I mean by that is if you see, this is simply, you know, all these different sales, which, which don't have any aggregation on top of it. So we cannot use it directly as an aggregated field in the chart. Chart is expecting an aggregation function like a sum average or something, but here we are not providing it. So what we can do is let me show you a custom way you can modify that table. So what you are seeing is the discount and profit. So what I'll do is I'll just remove uh, the discount. Okay, so because discount was coming like two different times. So we have discount, profit and sales and I will also remove so what I'm doing is I'm modifying that parameter right now and I'm just saying that I need uh, profit and sales. So why I need only profit and sales? Well, because it depends on how many measures I have created. So we can create all the different measures, 
But what I already did is I created these two measures, which I can then use it in the table. Here on the sales, I have specified the aggregation function, right? So this should be your step number one. Whatever dynamic measure, measure behavior you need, first create all these measures, profit, sales, quantity, discount, whatever you need. And then you go to this modeling tab. If, if I just remove that and I'll show you from scratch, let me just quickly remove everything. And uh, then you need to, after creation, creating the measure, go into this, go to the new parameter fields. In the fields, let's call it D measure. And then in Superstore, we have M profit and M sales, which we can then select, right? And click on create. Okay. So now what do you have is uh, this measure and profit. So I'll just remove this one. So you have measure and profit and I'll select this. So it only showing profit and sales where we can modify this M and and press enter okay and now you see even in this case this profit is not going which was earlier present right so what do you need to do is you need to select this remove it and then bring it again okay now i can select the profit i can select the sales same way over here we need to remove this and bring it again and now you can see values are in millions not like one two three four so this is sales this is profit and you get your output so hopefully this should solve your problem if you are also facing this issue just remember the steps first create the measure right with the re relevant aggregation then go to the modeling create the parameter which will create this and then use this parameter as a slicer and in your tape in your chart and then you will be done with your dynamic behavior with that you are giving the power in the hand of the end, in the hands of the end user uh, for making whatever selection they want with that, thank you so much for watching. I'll meet you in the next video.